Hi, in this video we'll be talking about the next step of code collaboration which is reviewing and merging a pull request. Now in the previous video I've talked about how to create a pull request and assign it to someone uh, aka your reviewer. Now if you are the reviewer how would you review this pull request and run the code and see everything works as expected. So the, the next step would be to basically fetch the branch and then review the branch and then if everything works fine you merge it. So the first thing that we would have to do is let's see and if we have any pull requests uh, that we want to review. Now this is one pull request that I see open and it hasn't been assigned to anyone so I can just go ahead and review it. Now in order to review this pull, pull request first we, I would have to add this remote to my uh, to my machine. So as I've shown before we have uh, the concept of remotes where uh, where the version of the code is stored for each user. So I have my version, uh, my forks version and the origin the master branches version. Now I'm going to add someone else's branch. So the way to do that is basically seeing all the forks. So I see there is one other fork and I would add the fork again like before. So git remote add. So I'll just add this user's name and I'll just uh, add the initial for, for now. And done. So now if I check I have three remotes. So the next step is fetching the branch. Now the way to do that is git fetch the remote name and the branch name, which was add sum. If I want to confirm, it's called add sum. Fetch the branch. And now I'll check out, create a temporary checkout of this branch. So as you've known, as, as you've seen in the last video, the way to create a checkout, a new branch is using git checkout minus B. But since this is a temporary branch and I'll be reviewing this branch of someone else's branch, the way to do that is git checkout minus T and the remote name and the branch name. Right, so now I'm checked out in this temporary branch. So now let me check the uh, if the commits are coming up fine. Yes, so the latest commit here is the add of some function to the calculator. So if I go to my code editor, I can see that there is a calculator function, which is the sum function, um, and it just prints. So let me see if this code actually runs properly. So that's how would that's the first step of reviewing and it does. So it does run properly and gives the answer as four and should work as before if you add if you give any number. Now the next step would be to merge this branch if everything looks fine to me. To me, all of it looks all right. Uh, the only comment I would have is maybe like a minor nitpick would be um, remove this extra line because I see that there are two lines. You should just have always just one line at the end of the file. So that would be my suggestion, but if not, I would still merge this PR. So remove extra line. That would be my comment. So this is how you would collaborate with, uh, with another peer regarding uh, a pull request. And the final step, if everything looks all right to you and there is no conflict, you can just rebase and merge. So the concept of rebasing means that it will be at the top of the of the master branch. For example, if there are other P, other engineers collaborating as well, then you would want this commit to be the latest commit in the master branch. So that's why we use rebase and merge. And now if I hit rebase and merge, you can just do it from the UI. It will be successfully merged to master. So now if you go to the master branch, you'll see that there is um, the top, the, the latest commit is uh, the add a sum function to the calculator. So that's about it, about reviewing a PR and merging a PR. So you would basically fetch the branch, check out to that branch temporarily, see if the code works as, it's, as it should, and then merge it from the UI, or you could just merge it from the uh, terminal. But we, can, we usually do it from the UI if everything looks fine. Thank you for watching. 